Hello everybody and welcome. I'm Hessen of Hessens County. I'm going to go that you could join us again today for another TTRPG Talk Short. This video series takes a look at tabletop role-playing games and related materials in short form. Today's game we're going to be taking a look at is Snakes and Wolves by Roxanne B. The basic inspiration behind Snakes and Wolves, as you might be able to tell based on the uh, patterning and the title and some of the uh, layout as well as like the actual name snakes and wolves this game was inspired by metal gear solid there are a couple of things that i really would like to point out and definitely highlight over the course of this the basics are pretty simple you are attempting to uh you are working for a, a group called the authority to an attempt to capture a whip a weapon back from the enemy before they figure out how to use it and deploy it in to uh, to disastrous effect so that part is very basic. What's really important, though, about Snakes and Wolves, I feel, is the system itself. Roxanne B is intending on releasing an SRD, which I will probably cover in more depth later, called the Verbs SRD that this is based off of. Um, here we can see we're describing the basics of the idea. Basically, every character, every class, every basic idea is created from verbs and nouns. We have hero, recruit, ronin, and technician. When you take them, you're given a set of verbs and a noun. The important noun uh, helps create the story of the specific way that your group is going to be playing the game, uh, basically the specific flavor of your world. Um, you also get a set of verbs that allow you to act in certain ways um, and uh, definitely make certain actions easier for this particular character. So for example, the hero, uh, there gets snake uh, sorry get sneak infiltrate engage and take down this means that this individual is obviously extremely good at um disguising themselves sneaking around quiet kills essentially um stuff like that whenever you are rolling or taking an action you roll this is a d10 system um where we have very basic challenge ratings that run from two, four, six, eight, and 10. Um, 10, of course, being the most difficult, two being the easiest. So there's always at least a small chance of failure, but your average difficulty is a four, meaning you have a slightly better than 50% chance of success uh, to 60% to be specific. Um, uh, so, um, however, if you have a verb that's been clarified so in other words one of the verbs that you have in your uh, class if i'm reading this correctly um then you get an extra d10 to roll meaning that for example if our hero wants to infiltrate they have a very easy time of it because they roll 2d10 to determine their success another big important thing when the way this system works is uh we have tokens these tokens each player gets five tokens at the beginning of the game Whenever the, your particular character does an action, you have to spend a token to do it. Um, this definitely forces the group to play as a group, as an ensemble, as opposed to relying too heavily on any one particular character or approach in order to try to solve problems. There is a way to recharge tokens that is very similar to like, let's say in Breathless or some other systems like that, where you essentially take a knee, meaning you take a break, right? However, the world moves on without you and it actually makes it more difficult for you to complete your mission when you do that. The final thing that's in this particular version of the Verbs SRD is we have mission integrity. Basically, as I said, this is a very simple mission. You're, attempt you're attempting to stop your enemy from being able to use a weapon. Your plan to attempt to stop them is starts at 20. But each time you fail or you take a knee, you basically roll a one on an action or you take a knee, it goes down by one. If you manage to reach the end of the story and you still have some integrity left, then everything's fine. You complete the mission and everything's good. However, if your mission integrity hits zero, then that means you're in the critical end game phase and you have to complete the mission. Each player basically get each character gets five, essentially five tokens, right? Five actions with which they can try to complete the game by any means necessary. If you don't, then you failed the mission. The enemy fires the weapon and who knows what happens. 
that was a real quick look at um at snakes and wolves again this is by roxanne b you can find this on itch.io links will be found in the doobly-doo down below this was also a part of the animals ttrpg bundle so if you did buy the bundle after watching my video on that previously you already have this game but if you have not um I believe the bundle might have a couple more days. It might be gone by the time this video goes live though. So if it is, um, I rather, if it is still live, I will include a link below, but if it's not better luck next time, prepare for your mission agent. Don't forget to rate your itch purchases and have a good time. If you would like to show your support for this channel or for the Hessens County blog, in the description down below, you will find links to the channel coffee and also the itch store. Please feel free to take a look and thank you for your support.